Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answers. This is question number two of that particular series. Today's question is how to implement a class inheritance in JavaScript. The purpose behind asking this question is to see if you understand the object oriented concepts like class and inheritance. Most realistically, when you're working with any TypeScript or JavaScript based applications, you will definitely require more than one class. You will also require the parent child relationship between those classes. This question tries to understand your knowledge on that. Let's get started and see that in hands on. Before I get started, I would like to inform you, I have launched an ebook, which covers this 100 top JavaScript top code snippets, which every developer must know. These code snippets will help you become better developer as these code snippets are used on a daily basis by developers. The code snippets covers arrays, strings, objects, classes, promises, async, and much, much more. This would really help you to crack that front end en engineer role. Visit the link in the description box below to, to get the ebook. All right, so coming back to today's question, the question is how to implement class inheritance in JavaScript. A class can be extended by another class using the keyword extends. The child class will inherit all of its parent class methods. And we will see that now in action. Let's do some hands on so that it's much clearer to you. All right, so I have an empty HTML file and I will start writing the script. And then here we are going to implement a first a class. Let's call it class car. So this car is the parent for now. So I'm going to create a quick constructor, implement model and name and define some properties here. This dot. It can be any name that you want to give. Now this is a class with a constructor. Now I'm going to define a method by the name start. And what I'm going to do is simply just output this that particular value for now. Start. And you can see here it auto completes gives us what values are there. Right. So this is a parent class which has a constructor and a method. Now let's define the inheritance. So for that we'll need a child class and I'm going to call it electric car. Now this is the electric car. Now in this let's define the same method name. So what I want to show you here is there can be methods with the same name in both child and parent. And how do you call the parent using some a keyword called super. So if I want to print now, if I say super dot start, now this would print the values from the parent, which is con console dot log this name. Since I'm using super, it would call the parent class method. All right. So just to also show you, let's initialize this first and then I'll show you some more variations of it. So how do you create an object? You create by creating an instance using new keyword. And then you'll say it's a new electric car and we can just initialize this. OK, but it's always a good thing that whenever you want to pass right now here, we will write extends car because we are trying to extend this particular parent class. Right. So the keyword is extends followed by the class name. So now if you see the definition, it would give us model and name which is coming from the parent constructor. So let's say Tesla and let's call it a value here and say a 320 is the model close it. So now when I say EV car dot start, it would call the child. This is we are creating an instance of class electric car. When I call this start, it will call this start. And internally, it will call the parent method start. So our expected output is it should print the name that we have console logged here. That is a 320. Let's see that in action. So I'm going to reload. And now you see in the console log a 320. 
So what this means is that we can call the methods from the parent. So here I'm going to call one more and I'm going to say end, right? So this is a method which is in the parent. So here I'll say log car stop, right? And we can again call it here if you want and you can say super dot end. So see, now we are calling the parent methods using the keyword super. But what if there is a method here itself? Let's say dashboard. Console.log. This is child method, right? Which is in the same class. So how can you call that? You can just use this dot and you can use the method. So here you are learning very, very important things. One is that class keyword that's how you define a class then you write some then you write a constructor it's optional but it's always good to initialize some values you have some methods and in the child class we will use the keyword extends to inherit the parent class which is in this case car then the next keyword that you're learning here is super which means to access the parent class methods we will have to use the keyword super. If you want to access this, if you are in the same class like this electric car and in this method, you want to call another method from the same class, you will use the, this operator, which is this dot dashboard. So this using this keyword, you can get the method. Similarly, you can define some property and access that also like how we did here, this dot name, right? So in the interview, when you're asked about inheritance in JavaScript. This is an example I want you to give. Explain them these keywords that we have seen, class, extends, super, and this. Once you show this, the interviewer will be very, very confident that you know the concepts of class inheritance in JavaScript. That's all for today's question. Thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to get the ebook if you really want to learn and master coding, especially JavaScript, TypeScript. So you can find the link that is arctutorials.gumroad.com. Please do check it out. Please do subscribe to my channel to keep getting more such interview questions. Thank you again for joining. See you in the next episode.